my beautiful star seeds, light workers, soul family, soul tribe family, friends. I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, so I'm coming to you with uh, your uh, weekly readings. This is Sandy. For those of you that do not know and those of you that do, you know that Sandy is a very lovable <laughs> doggy. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, She's the sweetest thing ever and she's usually always in my videos. Maybe sometimes you hear her snoring or playing in the background and a lot of you uh, wanted to see Sandy all the time. So here she is for you. Uh, Ray, of course, uh, it's impossible for him to come into my readings with Sandy because Sandy is very territorial if in, uh, in the, on the bed. So <laughs> there's no way that uh, Ray could... Uh, but I will bring Ray one day to show all of you who Ray is. Okay? So um, again, she sends you... She, she will be sending all, uh, all your love uh, to everybody. You just send all your love to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that, with kisses. <laughs> so let me put Sandy back so that she could rest. And uh, so let's get started. So, be, you know, uh, before I even do the readings, I do, I have, I have the singing bowl here. And uh, we're going to, of course, uh, you know, do a mini meditation before we go through the readings, okay? So I'm going to clear my energy and space. I'll do the same thing for you. I'll also clear the breeze off your aura as well, okay, while I'm, while I'm doing this. Um, I will also infuse, uh, for all of you that want to embrace it, uh, uh, fusion of light, emerald and pink through your chakras and after, of course i'm also going to invoke archangel michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective as well and then archangel uh, gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective uh, with the intentions you can put on your own intentions while i ring the bowl and um of course i'm going to invoke you know my higher self my innate uh, universe holy spirit mother gaia to be here i will invoke of course my archangels, angels, my spirit guides, and of course, uh, last but not least, my ancestors to be here. Okay, so uh, that this is going to be protected as well. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space, and for you as well. Okay, so now take a deep breath in, and release. the debris as well a gentle touch of debris releasing the debris around the aura next I will infuse emerald light and pink light through your chakras starting from the crown third eye throat chakra the heart chakra the solar plexus the sacral and the root and then we're gonna go upwards from the root to the sacral, to the solar plexus, to the heart chakra, to the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown. Take a nice deep breath in, and hold, and release. Asking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life. If there is stagnation, not movement, something that you've been desiring, wanting for such a long time, are invoking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life, in your situation. Take a deep breath in. Also for Arch invoking Archangel Michael for a breakthrough on the collective. Set your intentions if you like. Take a deep breath in. And release. And last but not least, we're going to invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective, of the planet, with unconditional love, peace, kindness, compassion, 
returning to good health, unity, laughter, joy, abundance, protection, and so it is. Beautiful. I'll put this on the side for now. Let's just take two seconds here. So my mom, Giovannina, and myself, we are sending you prayers, of course, light and love, peace and protection. I hope you feel us through our hugs, through the heart chakra. My mom loves all of you very much, and she will continue to pray and do her healing modalities three times a day for here on YouTube and of course on the collective. And now let's get started with your reading. See you in a bit. Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 2nd to the 8th of 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. I look forward in doing your readings every week and I look forward to all your beautiful messages. Thank you so much for all your beautiful messages. It really means a lot to me and to my mom as well. So before we get started with your reading, I do have some channeled messages that uh, I want to relate to you from spirit, holy you know, spirit or universe or source uh, creator. And uh, so uh, the messages that I'm getting right now for um, a lot of you, uh, Pisces, if uh, now maybe some of you, okay, so... Um, remember that uh, just take what resonates with you okay maybe it's not for you some of you have to stay have to be in the moment okay like in the here and now some of you are already cultivating that and some of you are need to be in the here and now and uh because uh, you know a lot of you are daydreaming a lot okay this is what spirit is saying and you're envisioning uh you're doing maybe uh you know vision boards or you're meditating or envisioning uh, what it is that you would like to receive you know what is the abundance that you would like to have and the creator is saying that you need to just breathe it out, okay? Breathe, take a, take a step back, you know, meditate if you can, or take some time for yourself, okay? Because I feel that, uh, you know, a lot of you are are sometimes in a rush, okay? Uh, it, there's a lot of people wanting to take your energy or not on purpose, but sometimes people need you, Pisces, and you guys run to their help because that's the way you are. And uh, so Spirit is saying is that whatever you're imagining, whatever you're creating, you're co-creating it right now. And to stay in the present moment, what do you truly want now in the present moment? Not in the near future. Now. This is what Spirit is saying to all of you. Okay, so those were your uh, messages, okay? And uh, now we're going to get into your reading. So we're going to start with the affirmation card to see what is your affirmation for the week. Pisces from August 2nd to the 8th. Okay, so your affirmation is trust. It says here, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And so it is. Now we're going to take out a card to see uh, what is your animal totem this week. What archangels are with you this week? And what is the message behind that? Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. Okay, you got two. The first one you got is guinea, guinea pig. Guinea pig. And this is Archangel Mary that's with you. And she's and it's your your message is do your part to illuminate the universe. Do your part to illuminate the universe. Guinea pig energy. The next one you got is well. And this is Archangel Mary and Jules. It says live as a fully conscious being. Live as a fully conscious being. Beautiful. Nice to see that. These are your two animal totems. And 
yes okay and now we're gonna like look at your um your numerology we're gonna see what numerology is gonna be with you this week pisces okay so if you see this numeral this number that means that the reading is a confirmation for you and also whatever it is that your desire and purpose and what it is you're creating that's coming towards you okay so let's see what numerology will be with you from august 2nd to the 8th okay so for, this is for pisces oh you do have two cards that came out okay wow beautiful numbers so the first one these are just my reading glasses you got number one number one it says your i am you know innovative I am innovative. I am innovative. Okay. And it says you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you to get through rough times and reach success. So number one, it's also by manifestation, right? You're manifesting. And you got number 555. Five, five. I am optimistic. I am optimistic. I am optimistic. A major shift is about to come into your life. Experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. Okay, so 555 five, five and the one. Beautiful. Now we're also going to take out um, a card here. Hold on a second. What it is that you need to surrender to. So what it is that you need to surrender to. Surrender, procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Surrender, okay, procrastination. Beautiful. I'll put this right here for you to see. And now let's get started with your reading. So this reading is for Pisces Sun. And anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Remember, it's a general read, so it may not resonate with all of you. But if it does, claim it. And if it does, and then look at your rising. Moon is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And for those of you, your North Node to see what is your soul path or purpose. Okay? In the reading, I'm going to show you your recent past, your current energy your immediate future what is hidden from you and the possible future and then i will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to clarify for you and then after that whatever signs that show up in your reading so any signs that show up in your reading we will have a bonus round okay right after so keep that in mind if there's someone here uh view pisces that could have time to uh you know put like a, a time stamp of like uh the singing bowl uh and the angel cards and then the reading, the bonus reading, uh, and then the ending of uh, uh, the other, uh, other other oracle cards would be really nice if someone could do it. Whoever that helps me out uh, on my channel, I uh, will be doing live streams coming in September. Okay, so there will be live streams and um, I never did that. I think I did that once a long time ago, um, but I need to get moderators and I know that I could really count on you Pisces, okay, to come through if you wanna be a moderator on my youtube page uh please uh, leave me a note give, or write me an email and uh, so that i could rem i could uh, you know uh, do that for you when you come on um, on my lives and i could remember who you are with your names okay so let's get started with your reading pisces amazing oh i can't wait to show you this <laughs> okay i'm so excited right now um to show you this
Okay, in the overall energy, you got the King of Swords. You could, you could be dealing with an Aquarius Libra or a Gemini, okay? If that's not the case, uh, this could be you, an energy right now that you are very focused on what you want, okay? You're, you, you have direction, you're focused, uh, there's a lot of communication, and you're solving so uh, any problems that there is or any bumps along the way. I feel that there's solutions in the way you're thinking, the way you're seeing things. It's like it's completely different, okay, here? Or you could be dealing with someone in this type of energy, like I said. In the recent past, you got the Nine of Wands reversed, followed by the Strength card reversed, followed by the Ten of Cups energy. Well, definitely here, there's something here that, uh, you know, put, there was some type of uh, situation in the past year, I feel, that uh, in the recent past year that, um, you know, uh, you were forging ahead. It was very difficult. There was a lot of obstacles along the way on your path here, you know. Maybe it had to do also with you. You know, uh, I feel like maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo. If it's not a Leo, it just means that you didn't have the self-confidence or the strength or the courage in a situation here. There was something that was stopping you. But something took place where, um, you know, um, I feel that you're like in a very, very, in the recent past, you were very much in a vulnerable state, okay? Uh, but comes up with the Ten of Cups energy. So this is soulmate energy here. This is a new beginning taking place. For those of you that are single and not seeing and talking to anybody, it's just the way you feel with your family, uh, in your community, in your home, maybe with your friends, with your soul tribe family. For others of you, there is a soulmate energy here. And it's the beginning stages it brings you contentment. You're feeling happy again, and there's a there's pos like there's wonder and awe. Okay, in the recent past till now. Okay, uh, in the current energy here, you have the star card, Aquarius energy, followed by the magician, followed by the sun card. Three very 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 powerful cards here. Okay, you're manifesting in the here and now. Okay, this is what you're doing. You're imagining. You're manifesting. Breathe it through. Meditate. You're doing. You're co-creating something here. Something magical is taking place with the star card. It's about you know having that uh, faith and uh, faith and hope in a situation. Inspiration um, talks about a dream coming true, and you've been manifesting this, okay? And with the sun card, it's arriving for you. This is beautiful uh, energy here, okay? This is about uh, being happy, being contented. Uh, this talks about being happy, being content, being on the right path. It's about success. It's about abundance. It could be about a soulmate. It could be about a twin soulmate. It's anything here. It could be about health. But this is very powerful energy. Okay. In the immediate future, you've got the six of pentacles. You're finally bringing something into balance in your life, whether it's a relationship, whether this is a job, uh, whether this is your work. Okay. It's like whatever you give, you're going to be receiving. That's beautiful. And what's hidden from you is the Knight of Cups energy. So there is someone coming in wanting to share love, wanting to, you know, be love with you. Or this is you going towards someone else. Okay, so I do see someone coming in here. Um, and also I see that you're going through a transition here. Uh, for some of you, uh, you're a trans transiting a job, a career, or maybe a home. Okay, maybe some of you might be relocating or moving. But I do see that uh, this is taking place. And in the possible future, you got the Death card, Scorpio energy. There is a huge transformation. This is the 555 energy that's coming in for you. And you're going with the flow with it, okay? This is a beautiful transformation that's taking place. Endings and new beginnings taking place for you. Well, that's really nice to see. And now we're going to clarify the cards. Let's see what else is going on there. You know, if you're dealing with a King of Swords energy, you know, you could be dealing with someone that's that might be very independent, very... Um, they, they could be, uh, you know, distant or cold, uh, you know, um, but they're very intellect, you know, they're very like, um, I feel like they, the way their mind works, it's like really fascinating, uh, but they are like, they, they could be around people, but they usually travel alone, okay, so this is a message I had to give to somebody, they travel alone, you know, they could have a lot of acquaintances, they, a lot of people would, would probably want to talk to them, whether this is you or that, or vice versa, but uh, they usually are, you know, lone, uh, people that uh, run on their own, okay? Or be, uh, they're very independent. Now, let's look at this King of Swords in, okay, uh, in the overall energy. You've got the Eight of Cups energy. you got the Wheel of Fortune reversed with the Hierophant. So there was something that uh, maybe in the past, okay, that uh, there was a delay in a situation, could be for some of you. Or there could have been not only a delay, but there could have been also like um, 
uh, you know, something that came in that was destined and faded. But some of you walked away from a situation here. You walked away from a situation here, okay? Uh, you didn't give it a chance. Whatever it is this, that this is about, okay? And uh, you overcame this this situation. And with the Hierophant, it's about you learning higher, you, you learning your life lessons. You learned your life lessons, and it took a cycle for you to do the, to do so. And you, uh, some of you are going to higher levels, okay, of degree here, okay, or higher levels. It could also be a marriage also for some of you out there. Now, in the recent past, let's look at the Nine of Wands reversed here. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed? You got the King of Swords reversed. Followed by the Page of Pentacles, followed by the Queen of Pentacles. Well, definitely here, there was someone here, like I said, with this, you got the King of Swords twice, one upright, one down. In the recent past, there was someone here that was maybe very angry. There was someone here that had uh, went through many, many obstacles in life, and they couldn't find a solution to a situation here. Whatever it was, they couldn't. Maybe they couldn't find a situation. Maybe someone cut out somebody. Maybe they weren't able to think or focus on a situation here. Okay, and what I do see is that there is some type of offer coming in. It could be for some of you an apology, if this is as to do uh, an apology, or there's someone coming in to bring you an offer here. There is an offer that's on the table. And with the Queen of Pentacles, okay, uh, this could be you, okay, uh, uh, Pisces, um, that you're very victorious, uh, you're, you know, very uh, stable, you have security. You're the queen of your own castle. There is some type of situation that's taking place here where in the past you could not see through it. But there's an offer. It could be a job offer, okay? Going to a different level, you know, a position for some of you or an apology coming in. We'll see as we go along. Okay, now let's look at the strength reversed here. Why is the strength reversed? You got the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Cups reversed with the Three of Pentacles reversed. So definitely here, some of you were not feeling good in the past. It was something that was not stable for you. Maybe you're, you weren't feeling stable. Or maybe the people that you were dealing with were not co collaborating with you. You were probably feeling as the Queen of Cups reversed here. Un, uh, emotionally unavailable. Maybe you were moody. You were going through some things internally here. And, you know, you weren't feeling good about the situation. You weren't feeling good about it, okay? You weren't feeling good, but there was some type of unexpected message that came in for you, and it was a message of truth. Now, let's look at the Ten of Cups here, and what Spirit wants you to focus on. You got the Seven of Swords reversed, followed by the Six of Cups and the Page of Wands. So yes, whatever news that's coming in or will be coming in for you, depending where you are in your soul path here, it's positive news with the Page of Wands, okay? You've been seeing the signs, you've been feeling it. It's in divine timing here. So there is going to be positive news coming in for you. There is an offer of stability, an offer also with passion here. This could be you in maybe a new position where you're working or in a relationship, okay? Whatever it is, there's no one that's hiding anything in this situation at all. And uh, But uh, some of you are still, uh, this could be uh, someone from your past, okay? Or it could also mean that you're at, at this time, you're still releasing you're still releasing uh, nostalgic memories of your past, okay? So now let's look at the current energy. You've got Aquarius energy here. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Swords reversed. Some of you are... are uh, you're, uh, some of you are feeling, okay, that uh, there's something that's keeping you up at night, Pisces, okay? You're overthinking, you're overanalyzing maybe in a situation. Just the energy is keeping you up. You're thinking, okay, about something or someone here or whatever that you're going through. There's uh, situations that you're going through in your mind here. And with the Six of Swords reversed here, you're, you're having difficulty getting past this process or just difficulty maybe in, uh, in going through the transition or... Maybe for some of you, this has to do with relocating or moving. But what I'm being shown is that with the Aquari with the star card, there is a dream coming to you. There's something very magical that's taking place here for you. 
It's about restoring your faith and uh, hope in a situation here. And there is someone from a distance that's coming in, okay? They're taking their time, but they're coming in here, okay? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I have a lot of earth energy, okay, as well here. Earth energy, air energy, very much here at this moment. Um, you know, they're taking their time coming in. They could be This could be like someone for finances to help you. They could help you along the way. This could be a teacher that you're meeting or... Uh, someone that you're supposed to meet okay to help you along the way like they're saying but whoever this coming in whether it's love or business they're coming in to help you and uh they're very kind to kindred souls okay now let's look at the magician here because you are manifesting at this time and whatever you're manifesting is coming in for you because the energy now is this it's not the same like it was before you are co-creating everything at this time so you got the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Even though maybe you're feeling sometimes, or this is you, or vice versa, whoever this is, okay? Uh, even though maybe sometimes you're feeling that you don't have enough, or you're feeling left out, or uh, ghosted, or left in the dark in a situation like there's no help here, I see that you're going to be elevating yourself, okay? There's some type of money coming towards you 100% here, you know, uh, from the... You know, like from the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, your, you know, Five of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is a, this is about your determination here. Uh, it's about you working on yourself, working on your Pentacles here. Uh, you know, you're working very hard. And with the King of Wands, could be a Sagittarius or Aries, or this is you in energy, in the quantum energy that you're going after what you want. You know, you're determined, you're passionate, and you're going after what you want. Now, let's look at the Sun card. In the current energy, you've got the four wands. The eight of pentacles. And you've got the two of cups. Okay. So there is something that you're putting a lot of energy into. Okay. You're trying to perfect something over and over again. So you're putting a lot of energy into something. And with the sun card, look what you have here. You've got the two of cups, the sun card, and the four of wands. This is beautiful. There's some type of proposal that's coming for you. It's about a happy event taking in, in your home. It's very peaceful. In that, uh, it's very peaceful. There's stability in the home here. And it's about two people coming in together. Okay, so there's two people coming in together. Beautiful. Now let's look at the Six of Pentacles in the immediate future. You've got the Four of Cups. Strength reversed. Leo energy. The two of swords. Okay. Definitely here someone is not feeling in their element. Let's say if you are dealing with a Leo here. Uh, they're being shown. You or they're being shown. If this, if let's say you're dealing with someone. Okay. What if this is not you. And you're dealing with someone else here. Okay. They're being shown. The angels are coming in, showing them, but I don't feel that they have self-confidence or the courage or the strength in the situation here, okay? Because there's a lot in their mind, whether this is you or someone else. Something is coming in where whatever you give, you're going to be receiving equal, shit, like equal. But there's someone that's indecisive with the two of swords. So someone here is indecisive, okay? They have to open that heart chakra and um make it make a decision now let's look at what's hidden from you you got the knight of cups you got the knight of pentacles and you have the knight of swords energy you got three knights on the ground you got also the chariot the two of pentacles and the ten of cups reversed And you got the Queen of Wands. Definitely here, someone here is moving forward in a situation. Okay, they're coming in. Maybe this is you or them. Okay, with the Chariot uh, Cancer uh, Sagittarius energy here. 
uh, with the Queen of Wands, it's like someone is rising, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. This is what I see when I see the Queen of Wands because she goes through many transformations and she's very optimistic and generous and outgoing. She's very creative, productive, okay? But there's also a lot of passion and creativity here. And I do see someone here emerging and rising with a lot of passion here and uh, taking control of their life, taking control of their dreams and moving forward. Because for the Ten of Cups reversed with the Two of Pentacles here, it's someone is being pulled in two different directions. Okay, so there's <clears throat> there's indecisiveness with this, uh, whatever this is, if it, this is, has to do with your inner self, with the relationship that you're in, or if this has to do with your peace of mind, there's something here that has, someone here has to make a decision. Let's look at the Six of Swords, because I do see that there's a process here, okay, that judgment, okay, let's see what else, Nine of Cups, and you got the Four Knights on the ground, okay, the Four Knights are on the ground for you. So you will be going through a transition here. It shows me and it shows me success here. Okay. Relocation or moving. Uh, there is, there's a wish fulfillment that you truly desire here and you are going to be receiving it. Some of you are looking into the past. Maybe some of you are going to be like, uh, like, uh, are feeling like you're in the fork in the road. Like what, what direction do I go? Do I go to the past? Do I go to the future or do I stay in the moment? Whatever it is here, okay, there's some type of revelation and change and shift that will take place, a judgment. And there's some type of action coming in. There's a Knight of Wands energy coming in, okay? So there is some type of action that's going to be taking place. Okay, now let's look at the Death card. There could be an ending and a new beginning taking place. There's a huge transformation coming for you, okay? <clears throat> from now uh, till, it could happen now, or it could happen from now till uh, October and November of 2021, Let's see. You got the sun card. Look at this. You got the sun card twice, Pisces. From the dark to the light energy. Abundance is coming in for you. Beautiful. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. With the Knight of Cups energy. With the Four of Swords. So someone here, maybe that took time out. Maybe there was a breakup in the past or time out to heal. Someone's coming out of that. And these three cards showed up for you. You got the Death card, the Sun card, and the Knight of Cups. This could be you venturing forward, or this is someone coming towards you. And it could be a soulmate or a twin soulmate. Whatever it is, it's very positive. And underneath the deck is the Ten of Swords Reverse. So this was past tense. Something that took place past tense. Something karmic that ended. It ended because there was a lot of resentment. Okay. There's no communication whatsoever. For some of you, there's no communication. Someone that was unstable here. Unstable. Okay? So that's your reading. And now we're going to look at which of the signs came out in, in your reading. And we're going to take a look at them in the bonus round. Okay. Let's look at this together. You got Leo. <clears throat> you got Scorpio, Aquarius. Taurus. Cancer, Sagittarius. I got Leo already. Okay. So these are, you got five signs that showed up in your reading. Okay. So five of the signs. If they don't show up, if the sign that you're looking for someone, uh, if it didn't show up, it, it, there's no message there probably at this time. Maybe next week it will come through. But right now, these are the five of the, the five uh, signs that showed up prominently in your reading. So before we get started with the uh, the signs, we're gonna look at which of the crystals you will need for this week. And I like what I like about these cards is that um, I could read you the properties of it. You know what 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 it helps, what it what the crystal will help you to do, 
and which chakra it, it deals with, right? And so it's, I like that. So Pisces, what is the crystal you will be needing from this weekend for as long as you need, need it from August 2nd? Okay, you got three crystals that came through. Oh, no, actually you got four. Okay, so let's look at them together. First one you got is Tourmalated Quartz. Tourmalated Quartz. Okay, and uh, this is clear, it's a clear crystal with thick black strands throughout. And the healing of it is combines properties of tourmaline and quartz. It strengthens the body's energy field. It promotes grounding and releases tension. It defects negative outside influences. It harmonizes opposing forces and encourages freedom and from self-restraint. And uh, the chakra that uh, for this tourmalated quartz is uh, the crown and the root. So it integrates and heals shadow self issues, transform negative negative energy into positive. It releases self bondage and judgment and promotes positive thinking. Tourmalated quartz. The next one you got here is barrel, and this is uh, appearance is pink, gold, green, white, blue, red, and mostly transparent. In the healing pro properties, it supports during stressful times in life. It helps discard unwanted baggage, encourages willpower and positive thinking, aids in guiding and directing life path. It relieves mental distraction and anxiety, a good stone to use for scrying. And uh, this type of um, the barrel, it, the chakra that it belongs to is the crown and solar plexus. It opens and activates the uh, chakras. It aids when seeking direction in life and promotes courage and personal power. So you've got barrel and tourmalated quartz next one you got is well what's being right now is your root chakra so your root chakra is what needs to be healed at this time and the color is red the stones are red black and gray and this is the muladhara okay chakra the first chakra it physic the location is the base of the spine and the soles of the feet and the and it physically uh governs the intestines the feet the kidneys the skeleton, the legs, the renal bladder, gladders, bl bladder, and the limp, limp, the limp, limp, lymphatic system. Okay, lymphatic. I can, I can say it in my mind, but I can't say it in my words. The emotional, it governs the material comforts, grounding, primary energy, nervous system, and survival instinct. And the symptoms, it's a, it's a, if you're lethargic, if you're, if you're, you have anger, you have fear anemia or you uh, are constipated if you're insecure and anxiety so the root chakra right now is being activated for you and uh, needs healing and then you have also um, the other chakra is the throat chakra so this is the color blue the stones are blue or green location throat and this uh, it, it uh, governs the throat the mouth the neck the shoulders the thyroid gland the tongue and the ears and this is about truth, honesty, communication, speech, openness, telepathy, and self-expression. And the symptoms are thyroid issues, limited expression, maybe res uh, respiratory problems, silence, okay, and speech impediments. So right now, the root and the throat chakra are the ones that, uh, and these are exactly the ones these two crystals came in for you. So if you are looking for crystals underneath the video, there's a coupon with my name on it and one with uh, you could get a percentage off. These are family-based uh, businesses that I support during my journey. They support me and I support them. And if you want to check them out, they're underneath the video, okay? Uh, now let's look at the sacral geometry for you, Pisces. You got two cards. We're gonna take a look at the, the first one. You got is a sacred number, and it's about awakening again. Well, energy. This talks about akashic records and conscious evolution, and then you got master number, which is number one, and this is about ancient sound frequencies, rebalance, energy, frequency, and vibration. We're gonna do both. Okay, um, I will give you your affirmation for both of them. 
Okay, so for this one here, your affirmation is, the greatest teacher is my soul. I am awakening and, ex and experience my soul communicating with me now in all that I do. The greatest teacher is my soul. I am awakening and experience my soul communication with me now in all that I do. So you are experiences. Uh, so this card is you are experiencing consciousness evolution. You are vibrating at a higher frequency than even ever before. You are awakening and attuning to your soul's calling as you walk your path in this physical lifetime. Time seems to move faster as these resonate uh, resonant shifts occur. Your conscious awareness of all life experiences increases and you receive new information from higher vibrational realms that requires processing and assimilation. Pay strong attention to your dreams and to your walking, uh, to your waking moments as the universe is giving you messages. This may manifest as a deja vu, deja vu, a repetitive or palindromic numbers, a feeling or thought, a smell or even a touch. Okay. And the practical application of this is ooh, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, to activate our light codes within our DNA, it is important first and foremost to come from a place of love. Cultivating this for most of us, most of us, a lifetime process along our journey. Open your heart and still your mind. Meditation, sound, integrated healing, complementary therapies, crystals, herbs healthful eating and exercise all play a role in the inevitable vibrational shifts we are experiencing. Journal your dreams as our subconscious mind is a treasure trove of important information. As our frequency increases, our light codes are activated. As we become more consciously aware, our gifts and our ancient knowledge steer and become increasingly apparent. The awakening process, once aroused, is a lifetime journey. It is what helps guide us through this lifetime as a soul experiencing a physical reality. Awakening is a sacred card. When this card is drawn, okay, uh, okay, wait a second here. Okay, so, uh, wait a second. Work with this frequency by playing the repetitive tones. Okay, so 963. So this card goes in with a 963 frequency hertz. So go to YouTube and put 963 and you could listen to that. Okay. And of course, yeah, you could, yeah, for this, you could use um, the Herkimer diamond. When you do that, do your meditations or clear quartz. Okay. <clears throat> now the next one is number one. And this is about rebalance energy, frequency and vibration and your affirmation is, today I allow myself to nurture my mind, body, and spirit to bring me back to the state of balance and harmony. Today I allow myself to nurture my mind, body, and spirit to bring me back to a state of balance and harmony. Today I allow myself to nurture my mind, body, and spirit to bring me back to a state of balance and harmony. If you have drawn the ancient sound frequency, frequency card, you are in the need of an... Uh, you are in need of an overall. Your body may be tired and out of balance, or you may be feeling emotionally and mentally drained. You have been working hard in so many aspects of your life that you need to return to a state of balance and harmony on all levels. You may need a healing to deal with a current issue in your life that could have an attachment to your past life. Whether it is, whether it be gaining an understanding or a need to forgive and release, it can be done by cutting cords and ties and letting go under the guidance of a light worker. The healing, the practical application of this card is healing and rebalancing from a cellular level through the authentic field or outer layers of the physical body can be achieved by placing this card on your body while meditating. So take a screenshot of this card if you like. I'll give you time. And after that, what you do is, uh, you know, use it as a wallpaper. When you meditate, you could use this card when you meditate and you could place it on your body listening to the sounds of sophistical frequencies and even placing crystals with the card on your body or carrying them around with you. Sleep with the card under your pillow. Seek out a light worker to help you shift unwanted energies. Writing is also a fantastic practice. When I, when I need to release, I write down my thoughts and feelings and I call upon universal guidance to create the shift needed to pull me back on my path. Burning what you have written at the full moon enhances the effect of your desired outcomes and goals. And the crystals that you can need is, is Herkimer Diamond, Boji Stones, 
a, a foliate and singing quartz. Again, a foliate, singing quartz, herkimer diamond, and boji stones. So this is what it is for you. I put these two here. All right. Okay, and now I'm going to take out one more card from the star seed, your family, to see what is the message that they want to relate to you. What is the message that your star seed family want to relate to you? You got two messages. Or actually, you have four. Okay. And all in fours, huh, Pisces? First one, it says, we, the haters. So that means that there's a portal here. Okay, there's a portal. Look at the portal of the door. There's a doorway. And it talks about deep love, mother's milk, and birth as a portal. So a lot of you are going through a death and rebirth, Pisces. Then you got forge, don't follow. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. So pave a new path and be the leader you wish you had. The next one is trust the timing. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Timing. Uh, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Okay, so trust the wave you, you came in on and time is not running out. Someone needed to hear that. And star family. And it says here, you're part of a team of souls. Call in your support. If you need them, all you need to do is call upon them and they will come. Okay, so now let's do the the bonus round here. Okay, so this uh, the bonus round could be about you, uh, Pisces. Okay, like in general, like this could be your chart. Or it could be about your loved one, a friend, an associate, a partner, love, business. Whatever it is, it could be about anything. Just take what resonates with you and let the rest go. If it's confusing, then it's not meant for you. Okay, just remember that. So let's see what's going on here. So, Pisces, if you're dealing with a Leo, someone's working on themselves here. There's someone that's very nurturing, very loving, very motherly energy, okay? And uh, there's someone here uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, is trying to stay above water in this situation, okay? There's a lot of emotions taking place in this relationship, okay? Ups and downs. Releasing nostalgic memories. But I do see some type of stability still that's there if you're dealing with a Leo. Now, uh, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, At this time, you're not able to move forward from this person, if the, wherever this person is for you. There could be a closure or an ending or a reconciliation. And I see success, so I do believe that the, whatever this closure or this reconciliation, it's going to be very successful. If you're dealing with an Aquarius Pisces, I see someone here angry or, or upset. Um, maybe someone made a rash decision or a choice too quickly. Maybe someone here is stuck, is not is overthinking or overanalyzing a situation. Not someone here that's trying to come to terms with something. Okay, but what I'm being shown is that there is going to be a clear communication. And uh, this is one of your wish fulfillments. And I see someone here uh, going after what they want. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Pisces, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I, I feel for some of you, if you're dealing with a Taurus, some of you, something is off balance here. Someone, maybe you or Taurus, whoever, but where the situation is, is that there's no balance or in this uh, situation, you know, that you're in. And someone here is really... Uh, starting to look at themselves and there's a lot of healing that's going to take place these are about life lessons that are taking place 
I see a relocation or moving, and I see something coming to balance here. There's a beautiful process which there's going to be truth and nothing but the truth as is going to be told. If you're dealing with a cancer, Pisces, If you're dealing with a cancer Pisces, I see that there's going to be an unexpected message, but this, but they're not coming in with any, they're not coming in right away. Like they're not coming towards you or they're not coming in with any stability at this time. But I do see that, uh, that you're going to be moving away from this situation and going after your dreams for some of you. Yes. You're going to be moving away from the situation completely moving forward and, uh, manifesting your dreams. This person can help you to manifest your dreams. Okay, but uh, I don't feel that they're coming in with any stability, though. If you're dealing with a can uh, Sagittarius uh, Pisces. I see, um, I see comfort in a home, stability in a home. I see peacefulness. There could be a proposal or a special event taking place for some of you. It could be a pregnancy, having a child. Um... For those of you that could, that's, that the event is about that, maybe uh, having like a baptism in a home or something like that. Uh, there's a new emotional experience. There is a new, there's a new person here, um, and there's a lot of uh, passion and um, and stability with the situation. Okay, now we're gonna go with the heart and heart, heart and heart to soul to soul. What they truly want to tell you, because sometimes it's hard for people to be uh, vulnerable with each other, right? So let's see here. Give me a second. What is it that from heart to heart, soul to soul, they want to tell you, Pisces? If you're dealing with a Leo, heart to heart, soul to soul, what is it that they want to tell you? I want to talk to you. That's good. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. And they want, and they say, wait for me. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're excited. They say that you give them so much to look forward to. Your twin flames. And they don't want to mess, miss their chance with you. Okay, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, heart to heart, soul to soul, what do they want to tell you? I just want to go back in time. Your words speak to me like no others can. They're hopeful. And you are hard to forget. If you're dealing with a Taurus, heart to heart, soul to soul, At this time, they're wishy-washy. Uh, they're saying, if I had only known then what I know now, they're saying, you are the one that I'm still, I am still moved by you. If you're dealing with a cancer, heart to heart, soul to soul, Pisces, I want a future with you. At this time, they're feeling cold or someone is acting cold. No one else matters now. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, heart to heart, soul to soul. I can't walk away. I am making plans. There's a lot of passion here. One more card for Sagittarius. But they're also very guarded. Okay, and now we're going to take out one more card from the universe to see what is your message, your Pisces.
Pisces. You got two cards. Your, your path and the vine source are your messages. Your path and the vine source. Your path, it says, Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. And the vine source is to help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. And this, these are your two cards from the universe. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Everything will pass. Everything will be okay. Just remember, love always wins and love has won. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.